Today on DIY Wouldn't You, we're going to be showing you how to make these <laughs> bottle holders. Join us on today's episode. That's how we should do it. That is. Now we've all got friends. Some friends watch us while we chase our dreams. Some friends are happy for us when we chase our dreams. Some friends are jealous of us when we chase our dreams. And then some friends push us to chase our dreams and be the best that we can be. And I want to talk about one of those friends in this video. It looks like it's going to fall over, but it really, I mean, for the most part, it's not. If you come up here and slam the table. Maybe not. I'm Brad. Welcome to DIY Wouldn't You. In this video today, we're going to make a wine bottle holder. Yeah, that's it. Here at DIY Wouldn't You, we want to inspire and educate. We want to make projects entertaining and encourage you to try something fun, learn something new, and impress yourself and your friends. We want to remind you that just because you haven't done something, it doesn't mean you can't. So keep learning, keep building, keep DIYing. My buddy Daniel was one of those friends. He encourages me all the time to push through all the challenges to get where I want to be. This wine bottle holder is a way for me to say thank you to Daniel. Because when I started talking about making videos, he said, you ought to make a video on those wine bottle holders. People love those things. We went to Daniel's house. We filmed some clips talking about the wine bottle holders. This is Brad. And this is Daniel. <laughs> Go with it. After I built the first one of these, I actually had a couple of people come and ask me if I'd make them one. There's not a lot to it, really. And that's what makes it cool. I like it at more of an angle rather than sitting with the bottle perfectly flat, you know? Mm hmm Because then it just looks less scary this way. <laughs> We've done everything uh, with just a bandsaw. You might have saw to get the angle for the bottom of it, like a one and a quarter inch uh, paddle bit. You need to make sure that your base is about three inches wide so that it's not going to tip over side to side. And Daniel had a challenge to make a wine bottle holder that was shaped like an S because his last name starts with S. So Daniel sat down and drew out what he imagined in his head. I took it home, cleaned it up a little bit, made it a little bit scarier. Cause I don't like these things to look like they should actually hold a wine bottle. Cut my bottom at a 45 degree angle. I cut it out on the bandsaw. Sanded the edges down. And used a cuttingboard.com natural wood wax on this, which I love. Now this video, just like all of our other ones, is not sponsored. So if there's any companies that would love to team up with us for some sort of sponsorship, my email is in the description below the video. Please reach out to us, we'd love to chat. I want to use this video as encouragement for people chasing dreams and feeling like they're getting nowhere. A lot of times, I feel like I'm getting nowhere. But just know that there's people out there wishing they could do what you're doing, but you're actually doing it. So keep it up. One day it'll all pay off. I love making these things, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more fun projects that we're working on, subscribe to the channel. If you want to be the first to know when we put another video out, click the notification bell. I'm Brad. This is DIY Wooden You. Thanks for watching. See you next time. So, let's talk about why these bottle holders are so cool. They're not. <laughs>
<laughs> Just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we, we suck at this. Oh, we're bad. Because well, they're made out of wood. Mm-hmm. And they're made out of wood, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs>